So we think of the acute grief response as a range of emotions, thoughts, and behaviors, physiologic changes, social, and spiritual changes as well. Uh, most people have a sense of disbelief. Uh, the first reaction is often, oh no, it couldn't have happened. Are you sure? Uh, and, and that sense of disbelief comes and goes over time. It's not just a stage that you get over. Uh, it, it's something that, that stays with us for long periods of time in different ways. Uh, there's frequently strong feelings of yearning and sorrow. Some people say that that's really the most characteristic symptom of, of an acute grief response is yearning, sorrow, longing for the person who's died. It's a mixture of other feelings, including very positive feelings, warmth. Um, and, and when I say positive feelings, a lot of people will disbelieve that, but how many of you have given a eulogy in your life? Uh, lots of hands. Um, well, you never give a eulogy for someone you haven't loved and who you aren't grieving. Uh, often uh, people who you love very much. Uh, also, though, most people who give a eulogy are pretty funny, and eulogies tend to get a lot of laughter, as much laughter as tears. So positive feelings are part of grief as well, even when we lose somebody very near and dear to our hearts. Uh, they come and go. Warmth at being with people, at sharing memories, uh, of reliving the past uh, are certainly part of normal grief. Uh, but there are also feelings of insecurity, and someone said when you lose a child, you're losing your future. When you lose a parent, you're losing your past. It, it, life changes, and the meaning of life changes. You have to adapt to it. Sense of emptiness, loss, uh, think your thoughts be, are very preoccupied on the deceased. That's why one of the reasons we have bereavement leave, whether it's two days, three days, or a week. Uh, people are expected to take some time off while they are allowed to be preoccupied with thoughts about the death and, and, and the person who died and, and also are allowed to just feel absolutely horrible uh, and be with friends and loved ones and families. And, and you know, as we're preoccupied with the person who's died, our interest in ongoing life and in people and friends are diminished for a period of time. That's all part of normal grief. But the good news is it's usually time limited. And this is a, a list of the symptoms. I won't go through them again. Just a, a couple commonalities about grief. One of the things I learned in, in my studies is there are no circumscribed stages. There's not a stage of denial and then uh, anger and then depression. And those don't exist in real life. Uh, people, th those feelings all wax and wane in intensity over time. Grief does tend to come in bursts and waves, the intense feelings. It, it, in, the waves are more frequent and less triggered in the early days and weeks of the death of a loved one. And over time, they, they're, they're uh, less likely to be as intense, their life's likely to be frequent, and they're more likely to only occur when you're thinking about or uh, reminded in some way of the person who's died, rather than they're being autonomous. Positive feelings uh, are inter intermixed, as we mentioned. The intensity uh, peaks usually in days, uh, maybe weeks, maybe months. We don't have a good time frame for how long it lasts, and I think it's different for different people in different contexts. But it generally peaks within at least several months and then starts to lessen. But it doesn't go, the bad news is it just doesn't totally go away. It doesn't end, it changes. So it evolves over time, the intense emotionality subsides, the thoughts and memories recede into the background. They're available, they're there, they come up at times, at, at anniversaries, happy events, sad events, uh, birthdays, uh, those thoughts and memories. Every time I give a talk on bereavement, I think about my mom and dad, I think about why didn't I tell her I loved her more uh, when she was alive. Uh, uh, most of the thoughts and memories are bittersweet over time, they're not sad. Uh, the sense of disbelief lessens over time and, and well-being is restored. So acute grief evolves into something we call integrative grief, where the grief now is in our heart, in our soul, in our behaviors. Okay? Person who died rests peacefully in the heart.